I have a coffee clutch at my house. I think it went from four or five to 10 to eight to 12 to 14 different guys. Every week it was always a different subject. The subjects were about politics, about religion, who's growing the biggest tomato, you know, who's got the biggest fig tree, you know, anything to get in an argument. They would say, John, why don't you start, why don't you start something out here? So they kept badgering me. They kept badgering, badgering, badgering. You can do it, you can do it, you're a leader, you always did this, you always did that. How do you put a festival together? Had no idea what these things are going to cost. Where am I going to get some kind of money? We raised $400 and put it in Roma Bank to start the Festival Association. A lot of people say, ah, you never get that thing off the ground. Are you kidding? You can't get a tank to stick together. We started this festival with 13 little stands. They had a little thing in the center there with music. It rained the first day. We had an Italian market tent. We had a band. We had the worst rides in history. The only people I could get to come there. Where is it? Where's West Windsor? Where, you know, where's the Mercer County Italian Festival? Nobody ever heard of it. Of course they didn't, right? But you know what? People came in the rain. A woman grabbed my hand in a wheelchair and thanked me. The woman says, God bless you, John Scott Patty, for giving us this festival. To me, the festival brings what the second and third generation are starting to forget. They, the, the familia part of this festival is right there and you see it right away. First of all, sons and daughters bring their mothers and fathers. Our mother and fathers bring their sons and son-in-law. And oh, I remember this and I remember that. It brings everybody together, not only Italians, it brings all, all nationalities there. I have people asking me all the time that are different nationalities. When's the festival? When's the festival? We have Italian dancers. We have comedians. We have opera. We brought the Fountain of Trevin here that people could actually see what it looks like. It's a smaller version, of course, but it's still 30 foot long, it's 15 foot high, it has the statues, the water's coming out, good restaurants and food, the mass. We have a huge mass on Sunday with a monsignor, a bishop, 400 people show up. The bocce, kids want to know more about bocce than they ever did. A beautiful public show, plus petting things for animals, wine and beer courts. We have an Italian group, fireworks out of... Uh, uh, South Jersey that does an excellent, excellent job. That'll be Saturday night. Yeah, well, Saturday night will be open to 11. Uh, Joe's going to be performing different acts, uh, imitation. He's also making a great tribute to the great Frank Sinatra. He's coming with his complete band and himself and do a Saturday night live, if you want to really call it, on the Roma stage at the festival. I, I just can't wait to get there, and I can't wait to be sitting in the front row with my wife to watch that whole show. It's 160 foot long. It's 40 foot wide. It has 32 vendors under it. It started with just a few pictures that I had accumulated to put there so people could see. And then the more I thought about it, the more I said to myself, well, there's so many different things that Italian did. If we actually start collecting some of this, we could use it. Some of it came out of attics and cellars and, and uh, that people just had. We have over 500 pieces now. Leonardo da Vinci, they wanted to duplicate a plane. It's going to be in the Heritage Pavilion this year. And it's going to show with the wings expanded. They're about 14 feet long with the wires and all of how he would actually sit in it. There's a variety of the food. You can start with bakeries. I mean, we're going to have four, four bakeries there. Uh, we will have the traditional uh, food that uh, people always talk about, you know, the zipolis and stuff like that. We're going to have delicacies, uh, people that are used to... Uh, uh, you know, the polenta, the mussels, the tripe, uh, uh, that they can't get anywhere. Well, first of all, we have a nice website now. 
and it's easy to get onto. So all you got to do is three W's, www.italianamericanfestival.com. And on there, it'll show different links for whatever's happening at the festival. The festival starts from noon to 10 on Friday, noon to 11 on Saturday, and noon to 10 on Sunday. The days of the festival are September the 25th, September the 26th, and September the 27th. 